communist jokes aren't funny unless everybody gets them. Hi, welcome to Pictures, Nose and Words. I'm Hedgie and this is Accept. Yes, they are still alive. Um, this, I just went, I went and did, I actually did a little tiny bit of research because I thought, how many albums has Accept put out? If I've counted correctly, this is their 17th studio album. 17th. They've been going since the late 70s. Um, and you could probably say they've been going before that, but you know, late 70s is kind of where they became, it became accept, really. <laughs> it became accepted. No, don't do that. Um, and they, 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 were, they, they were pretty big in the 80s. Um, they had Udo Dirkschneider as their singer, and he had a voice that you could etch glass with. Um, and they did like the album Balls to the Wall, which made them just like made them big one of those ooh, breakout album which was like their fifth album um so i you know i've seen except live a few times go but i'm going back in time here um but then i said uh, no angeli let me think about this i saw them a long time ago like decades ago and then i saw them about 10 years ago 10 years i'm not sure exactly when it was but they were touring with um uh, Sabaton uh, as like a double header and they were great they were great so this is one of those things where a band sticks to what it knows but is really good at it so even though it's 2024 and I, I haven't heard this by the way this is the title track Humanoid off their new album um, which is out on April 26th everybody so not too far away um, but I haven't heard this, but it will be proper metal, you know? It will be old school modern metal. Does that does that make sense? That 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 I absolutely know what we're going to get. And it will be top quality stuff. <laughs> if you're maybe though, if you're a certain age. I don't know. You crazy kids out there, tell me whether this stuff is relevant.
whole new song there. Thank you for shoving another one on the end there and catching me out. Except, um, I don't know about you, but the irony is not lost on me that you've written a song about the rise of AR and AI and the machine taking over and, and subjugating mankind while using AI to make your new video. <laughs> See what they did there? I don't know whether that was intentional or not, but, you know, I picked up on it. Um, before I get onto it, actually, the first time I saw that AI video effect where everything morphs into something else was on uh, Within Temptation. And I'm only talking about a couple of months ago because it's a fairly new thing, isn't it? And I saw it and I was like, oh, that's amazing. And they did it and Within Temptation did it really, really well. And I, and I thought, wow, that's really, really good. It's literally a couple of months later and I'm over it. I'm like, oh God, no, another morphing AI video. I can see why a band would do it because it's uh, cost effective, shall we say, and it does give a really kind of cool effect. It's just that every video done with it is starting to look the same, you know? Mm. Shows that AI is, isn't, it, it might be good at doing stuff, but it isn't creative. Anyway, all of that aside, Except has a new album out, Humanoid, like I say, 17th studio album, something like that. And they've still got it, you know? That still, still rocks, doesn't it? You could, that's, you'd listen to that if that came on the radio, if that came on in your random playlist or whatever. It, it's, it blasts along and it's really well done. There aren't a lot of things I can say about it because it kind of is what it is. And if I gave the impression that that was Udo Dirkschneider earlier, it is not, okay, it's not. It, it, I just, it, I, it occurred to me that maybe I'd given the impression it was what I was talking about. Udo was way in the past. Um, I can't remember his name. It's something like Wolf, uh, he says. I'm going to have a quick look now, just so that since I've mentioned it, and because I haven't got a lot to say, Wolf Hoffman. Wolf Hoff, that's a cool name, isn't it? Why, am I, why aren't I called Wolf Hoffman? Um, but uh, yeah, so no, it's not. It's Mark Tornillo. Oh, all the Accept fans are going to come after me. I was thinking... Even when I said it, I thought, that doesn't sound right. No, Wolf Hoffman is the, the lead guitar player who's like been with Accept since day one. And, is, and, and, you know, he's like the thread running through the whole thing. And I don't know why I mixed them up in my head because I knew who he was. Anyway, Mark Tornillo is the singer. <sighs> all, uh, all the Accept fans are coming after me for that one. They probably were typing uh, into the comments, no, you're wrong. Uh, they probably didn't even wait five seconds for me to, to correct myself. Except from Germany, they're super famous. They shouldn't need any uh, sort of introduction unless you're one of those young people that I hear about. Um, because except our old school, we're talking about, like I say, late 1970s when they came around and in mid 80s, probably when they were at their peak. But if you ever get the chance to see them live, go and see them because it's one of those experiences of a band that absolutely knows what it's doing, you know? And you just go on, you go and you're like, wow, this one, it rocks, two, it's metal, and three, it's just super quality, you know, of what, what these guys are doing. So, um, yeah, except I'm glad they're still around. I'm just like Judas Priest, and, you know, Iron Maiden. I'm glad these bands are still around because they're really good at what they do. Anyway. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon. Can't believe I said Wolf Hoffman. Can't believe I did that.